Madam Registrar, will you please call the case? This is the case number IT 0148I, the prosecutor of the tribunal against Shefer Halilovich. I would like the two parties to introduce themselves, please. Mr. President, my name is Carla Del Ponte, Chief Prosecutor. With me is my colleague, Carl Koenig. Thank you, Mr. President. And for the defense, please. Your Honor, Mr. President, my name is Faruk Baliagic. I'm an attorney, the only and lead defense counsel for the accused, Sefer Halilovic, at this stage of the proceedings. Thank you. Mr. Halilovic, are you able to follow the proceedings in a language you understand? Can you hear me, Mr. Halilovic? Can you hear me? Are you able to follow the proceedings in a language you know? Answer, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I am able to follow the proceedings in my language, and I do understand. Will you please give us your name? Spell your name for us. First and last name, age, your occupation. My name is Sefer, S-E-F-E-R, Halilovic, H-A-L-I-L-O-V-I-C. I was born on the 6th of January, 1952. I'm living in Sarevo. And until now, I was minister in the government of the Republic of Bosnia-Herzegovina. This is your initial appearance before this tribunal. This uh, formal occasion is essential. And on this occasion, uh, you will be able to hear all the charges made against you by the Office of the Prosecutor. Have you received uh, the indictment in your own language? Yes, I have received the indictment in my language. Have you understood uh, the content of the indictment? I haven't fully understood the indictment, but have you understood the charges against you? Have you discussed them uh, with your counsel? I understand that I am accused and charged. I have uh, talked to my defense counsel, but I have not understood the indictment. Do you wish the indictment to be read out to you in its integrity at this hearing? This is your right, but you are also entitled to waive that right. Do you wish the indictment to be read out to you in full? I, I waive uh, the right to have the indictment read out to me because I have read it. I therefore take note of the fact that you have waived that right. We are now going to proceed uh, with the initial proceedings, which is and the major point of these proceedings, that is your pleading, guilty or not 
guilty. You're able to tell us now whether you wish to plead guilty or not guilty, unless you wish to do so later within a time period of 30 days. So, we are going to read uh, the counts against you, and you will tell us whether you plead guilty or not guilty. Madam Registrar, will you please read out the counts? Count one. Je Murder? Želim sada se izrazimo. I do wish to plead now. Once you have heard the charges, you will then plead guilty or not guilty. Murder, a violation of the laws and customs of war, punishable under Article 3 of the Statute of the Tribunal, and recognized by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions and Article 7.3 of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? On behalf of merciful God, I declare that I am not guilty. I take note, Mr. Halilovic, that you plead not guilty of this count. Madam Registrar, will you take note of that, please? Madam Procureur, je tiens à vous... Madam Prosecutor, I wish to remind you of your obligations under Rule 66.1 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence, that is, the disclosure of the supporting material within 30 days. Yes, Mr. President, we have already, we already have the supporting material attached to the indictment, which is ready to be served on the Defense Council after the hearing. I should like to specify that we do not have the complete translations into all the languages of the tribunal, because, as you know, we always have that problem. But we shall uh, do our best to have the translations within 30 days. Translation into the lang uh, language of the accused, that they will be ready in 30 days? Answer, yes, all of it. We already have a part of it translated, but within 30 days, we should be able to provide the complete uh, translations of all the documents. I take note of that. Thank you. I should now like to address uh, the Defense Council to remind you of uh, Rule 62 that uh, preliminary motions may be filed within 30 days. Mr. Balyagic, you have 30 days for filing those preliminary motions. Honorable uh, Court, I take note of that, and I should like to notify Your Honor that both um, I and my client will fully cooperate with uh, the Tribunal because we hold the art attach the greatest importance to the establishment of the truth, whatever it turns out to be. Thank you. Please sit down, Mr. Halilovic. I wish to underline that this case has been assigned to Chamber 3, and the pretrial judge will be named shortly. Defense counsel, is there anything that you wish to raise at this stage of the proceedings? I'm talking to you, Mr. Baliagic. 
Do you have any points to make? Your Honor, on this occasion I have nothing further to add. Once I have received the supporting material attached to the indictment, I will address Your Honours in written form. Madam Prosecutor, do you have any points to make at this stage? No, Mr. President. I just wish to welcome the statement uh, regarding cooperation between uh, the court and uh, the accused and his defense counsel. Before adjourning, I wish to thank the interpreters and the technical staff for their uh, invaluable cooperation. The hearing is adjourned. Veuillez vous lever.